Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the secondary parts of a triangle but this time we're going to focus on the angle bisector. By definition, an angle bisector of a triangle is a segment that bisects an angle of a triangle and has one endpoint at the vertex of that angle and the other endpoint of the side opposite that vertex. Or simply, an angle bisector bisects the angle into two congruent angles. So let's say AD is the angle bisector of angle A. Okay. AD is the angle bisector of angle A. So we have angle A, then AD bisect angle A. That means we can conclude that angle BAD, angle bad, is congruent to angle DAC, angle that. Okay. So if BAD measures 29 degrees, DAC also measures 29 degrees because AD bisect angle A. It divides the uh, angle into two equal parts. Now let's have our example number one. In our illustration, if ray DF is an angle bisector, it's an angle bisector, that means it divides the angle into two equal parts. Find X. We know that angle EDF Angle EDF is congruent to angle FDC. FDC. Now substitute, we have the given EDF is 8x is equal to FDC. FDC is 4x plus 13. Now solve for x. Combine like terms, we have 8x. Move the left, change the sign, that will become minus 4x is equal to 30. 8x minus 4x, that is 4x is equal to 30. Now, to get the value for x, we need to divide by 4. So x is equal to 30 over 4. Reduce in lowest term, x is equal to 15 over 2. 15 over 2, that is the value of our x. Now our example number two. Ray MR Ray MR is the angle bisector of angle NMP. Find x if Measure angle 1 is 5x plus 8. This is our measure angle 1. And measure angle 2 is equal to 8x minus 16. We can say that measure angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2. Because ray MR is our angle bisector. That means this ray divides angle M and P into two equal parts. Now we have the given value for angle 1 and angle 2. All we need to do is to substitute the given values. So for angle 1, we have 5x plus 8 is equal to angle 2, 8x minus 16. Now solve for x. So 5x, addition property of equality, Move, so it will become negative 8 is equal to negative 16, copy, minus 8. So 5x minus 8x, that is negative 3x, is equal to negative 16 minus 8, that is negative 24. Now, to get x, we need to divide by negative 3, negative 3. Finally, x is equal to 
negative 24 divided by negative 3, negative divided by negative, that is positive, 24 divided by 3, 8. So, the value of x is equal to 8. So, assume that we're going to find angle 1 and angle 2. So, measure angle 1 is equal to 5x plus 8. So, 5 times 8 plus 8. So, we have 40 plus 8. That is 48 degrees. So, measure of angle 1 is 48. Since measure angle 1 is equal to measure angle 2, so we can say that measure angle 1 is equal to 48. Measure angle 2 is also 48 degrees. That is the angle bisector. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.